I wanted to share a little bit about what I do with my, my personal footwear while I'm working on horses. And it's actually something that I started doing about maybe six or seven years ago when I started running. And I used to wear a lot of different kinds of boots on my feet or uh, steel toe shoes or things like that. And even though they were very comfortable, I bought you know, high-end brands, spent a lot of money. When I started running, I learned a lot more about my feet and about you know, what kinds of things are comfortable. And so I ended up going with Hoka's. Um, not that you should, because you should wear what's comfortable, but the drawback of wearing sneakers is that you get a lot of hoof trimmings and shavings and debris down inside your shoe. And then it gets stuck in your sock and it doesn't work very well. And it's very frustrating and, and uh, uncomfortable. So I pulled something from the trail running world. Um, a lot of trail runners wear shoe gaiters. And I know we have some of these similar things in the, the um, horse world, but they're less common and honestly not as well designed. And if you know me at all, you know I love to have color in my life. So you can get them in all sorts of fancy colors and different styles. And they basically go over your ankle and then there's a little loop here to hook into a sneaker, a little hook, hooks into the front lace of your sneaker. And in the back here, there's a, a soft piece of Velcro. And so what you do is you put Velcro on your sneaker. And when you put these on, you put them on first over your sock, put your sneaker on, and then you just hook the hook in and put the hook the Velcro down and it's on and it covers the top of your sneaker here. And it provides a gasket so things don't get down in there. And it works super, super well. So I always get questions about, well, how, how did you find those and where do you get them? And, um, and, and how do you put them on? So I'm setting up a new pair of shoes for this uh, spring, summer. And so I thought I would show you what I do with this. So um, I get these on um, online. There's a lot of different brands. Um, Etsy has some. These are from a company called Dirty Girl, which is great. Um, they're for trail runners, but they work really well for what we do. And they send you Velcro, the rough side of the Velcro, and instructions on how to put them on. And so this is how I figured out to do this here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the size of my Velcro on my gator here, okay? And I'm gonna cut a similar size here. So basically I'm just lining up where the Velcro is, looking at where that, that attachment kind of ends here, about that length, um, and then I'm cutting it there. And I'll cut two pieces like that, because of course there are two shoes. The other thing that I do that's a little different than what the company kind of sends with instructions, which may be completely overkill, but it might also be valuable, is I take the corners off. Because I feel like if this is getting glued on my shoe here, then these corners could get hooked, they could get caught. And so I just round them, plus it looks a little nicer on my shoe. So I just take the corners and I just round them up here. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. And try to make it a little bit less of a of an ability to catch that corner. So I just make my my uh, oops, there's a piece there. I just make my rectangle an oval. Okay, super easy, just by rounding off the corners. Now they're sticky. Okay, but we know horses, and you know I'm not going to rely on just the sticky back on this Velcro with all the weird things that we walk through and walking in the rain and you know who knows what, right? So. Um, even though these are designed for the trail and a lot of trail runners also, um, you know, go through streams or mud or what have you, I put super glue under this sticky attachment anyway. So I'm going to put some gloves on. I have a piece of cardboard here under my workspace that if the super glue gets dribbly at all, that it won't, um, you know, get everything sticky and dirty. And so super, super easy. All right, so I've got my gloves on. So now all I'm gonna do is take my Velcro, the rough side of the Velcro, take the uh, take the sticky part or the little plastic back off, which always sticks to the glove. And then I'm gonna take my super glue and just bloop, 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 put this on with the sticky back like that. So it's just kind of coated that way, like a little light coating. And then I'm going to position this right above where the rise of my sneaker is um, here in the middle as down as low as possible so that it really holds my my um, gator low. Okay, so now I've got that on there 
and it's okay if it gets a little bit messy. Obviously, I'm gonna give this some time to dry before I put them on. Okay, so there's one. If it's not centered, you know, you have a minute to center it, but I don't actually work, worry that much. It's pretty well centered there. And then my other shoe right here. And this will last years. I mean, I've, you know, sometimes I rewear sneakers, um, so on and so forth. Usually I go and get a new pair because you stand on them all day long. Um, and I'll have multiple pairs with backs attached. Just making sure what the puppy's doing. Sansa! Okay, and then this one is just gonna go right here. Like that. I'm checking my work in the camera, that's kinda nice. Huh. That one got a little crooked. Good girl, come here, where were you? I know, distracted by the puppy, right? So, hi, okay, you're all wet, hi, I love you. Okay, so pretty pretty simple and easy, um, not complicated at all. I glued my fingers together, so a good idea to have gloves on. Um, and now I'm done. And as soon as that's dry, I can put my shoes on and put my gaiters on, and you can see where this Velcro is gonna line up here, right, like that. So when this goes on, it's gonna go on this way, let's see, let me show it to you this way. It's gonna go on this way, like this. And then this hook goes down underneath this last lace. And then the back here, that part will go down onto the new Velcro. And that's it, and then you'll have your, your gaiter on top, okay? So just wanted to share that with everybody because I get a lot of questions about it and it is really cool and really effective. And I do love wearing sneakers in the summer when it's hot and I'm working on horses and um, makes my feet happier. So it gives you some other options other than some of the work shoes that are available to us. Hope that's helpful and interesting. More soon.